Welcome back students, this is the professor and in today's video of creating online banking website using Flask, we'll be creating our navigation bar. Now one thing to keep in mind is that we're not going to be making it from scratch. We're going to be using the bootstrap website. If you're just going to your URL, just type in getbootstrap.com, you'll be navigated to the first link and this is what it looks like. We then navigate ourselves to the docs and then in the search bar, we type in navbar, just like so. And if you want to give the documentation a read, you can have a go, but I'm just going to scroll down and I really like the look of this navigation bar. So I'll give it a copy. Then I'll go back to my code editor, which is Repellent, navigate myself to the base.html and we have to paste this inside the head tag of our HTML. Now this is going to take advantage of the inheritance feature. So we paste the navigation bar code outside the blog content so that it remains the same for the rest of our HTML pages. So if we just give this a run and let it boot up, there we go. And if you open in a new tab, just like so, you can see that our navigation bar looks pretty nice. But I'm going to import a dark feature because I don't like the way it looks right now. It doesn't really complement the website. So if I scroll up and where it says light, just change it to dark. You can copy this if you want to and I'll reload the page and there we go. It looks much nicer. Now, the reason we use the navbar is because when a user goes on our website, it's just not convenient for them to type in the, the URL they want to go to. So in a navigation bar where these tags are, if the user clicks on them, it brings the user to the certain or specific web page. So if I go back to the code editor and if I remove the rest of this, because we don't need that right now, just delete it like so and reload it. We can see that we just have a search bar and the home navigation bar. Actually, I removed the search bar because we don't need it in our online banking website. So I just get rid of this and give it a reload and it's really nice so if you press the home page it doesn't do anything since we didn't give it a redirection so if you go back to our HTML and inside the list if we navigate ourselves to the href this is where you type in the URL in which the navigation bar is directed to so if I just type slash which is the home page which we defined earlier in our code in the first episode right here give this a save reload the page and right now it says this is the, the deposit page so if we press the home area it's going to redirect us to the home page and now i'm going to do this for the rest of the view pages and i'll see you guys in a bit So welcome back again as you can see i filled in the rest of the navigation bar so if i go on my website i'll give this a reload once again you can see that now we have different web pages that we can navigate to or the user can navigate to so if i want to go to the register page since i'm new to the banking system i'll just go press register it's going to direct us to the register page just like so and if you're already an existing user we just go to the login and it will transport us to the login page. And now this is the navigation bar. I hope you guys really enjoy this episode. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.